Hello, this is Masood Ansari, Department of Psychology, APSM College, Baroni. In the previous video, we have discussed about the observational method, while in this video, we will discuss about the survey method. So, what is the survey method? Survey method or survey research came into existence to study the opinion, attitudes and social facts. Their main concern initially was to find out the existing reality. So in what kind of situation one can implement the survey method? So there are some examples like uh, literacy rate. Suppose one is interested to study the literacy rate in the population and in that case he can implement the survey method to know what number of people are literate and what number of people are illiterate. Another uh, situation is religious affiliation. In the population, if someone is interested to know how many individuals are following X religion and how many individuals are following Y religion. And there might be other situation also in income level of particular group of people, attitude of the people towards family planning and different uh, situation you can select as per the interest. These are situation in which one can implement the survey method. So mainly there are three kinds of survey uh, usually uh, conduct in the social sciences. First one is personal interview, second is questionnaire survey and third one is telephonic survey. So in this segment we will particularly focus or emphasize on the personal interview and rest of the survey methods will be discussed in the next video. So now come to the personal interview. The question is, what is personal interview? So personal interview is a purposeful activity conducted to derive factual information, opinions, attitudes and reasons for particular behavior from the respondents in which situation an interview can be conducted. Suppose one person is going to visit a doctor, in that case also an interview can take place like doctor may ask the question to the patient what kind of problem he is suffering from another case may be uh, employer asking the question to the aspirant of employment or another situation may be uh, an employer when meeting a prospective employee in that case also an interview method can take place Suppose uh, another situation might be a salesperson is trying to know that wh what are the reasons that people are following or using the particular brand of the product. So he may also conduct a survey by interviewing them what kind of factors are working there because of people uh, intended to use only a particular brand of the product. Most of the times media person also conduct an interview to ask the global problems questions to the expert of the particular field that is also the example of interview. So these are the some examples of interview where researchers can apply the interview technique to collect the information. Now what happens in the interview method or basically in the interview one person is asking question while another person is answering the question of the problem. So this is the process of uh, conducting in an interview. So now come to the types of personal interview. There can be two broad types of interview structured and unstructured. This distinction is based upon the type of preparation we make before conducting the interview. Suppose if you are going to conduct an interview, then you are assumed to prepare some questions beforehand. And that particular list of the question is known as interview schedule. In case of a structured interview, an interviewer has no authority to change the sequence of the questions and he is not authorized or allowed to change the words of the questions. So this is the restriction 
with the interviewer that he cannot change or modify or shift or shuffle to the questions that type of questions are known as close ended questions while unstructured interview in that case interviewer is allowed to change the sequence of the questions as well as he can modify some words of the questions so these are the differences between the structured and unstructured interview techniques or methods now come to the point that uh, how many probabilities are there to conduct an interview survey so there might be four probabilities like individual to individual interview in the uh, in that case there will, there will be one interviewer and another will be interviewing for example in case of doctor and patient their doctor is interviewer while patient is interviewee so th there is no third person isn't it now come to the second point individual to group in that case an individual is asking to question to to a group like uh, in the classroom teacher asking the question to the students in that case teacher is a single and an individual while he is asking question to a group so in that case individual is asking question to the group and third situation might be group to individual and in that case uh, you can say if a uh, in if an individual is going for an employment in that case he is single while interviewers are multiple they may be more than 2 3 or 4 and they will ask the question to the candidate or aspirant of job and that uh, that is the group to individual situation now fourth situation is group to group interview in that case one group will ask to the another group while another group answer the question to the first one uh, in that uh, situation example might be debate on a global problem suppose groups of the people are discussing on the global warming or population explosion or pollution in that case one group of uh, of the individuals will ask the question to the another group and also further they will ask to the first group questions they will reply respectively so these are the situations of the conducting interview method or interview technique to seek information from the respondent so we have discussed about the interview method in this particular segment in which we have discussed about, uh, types of uh, interview structured and unstructured and condition of interview that uh, group to individual individual to group individual to individual and group to group condition so i hope that uh, you got the point of an interview technique that how and when a researcher can apply the interview technique to collect the information so if you have any question you can ask your questions in the interactive session for that i will put uh, a link of the interactive session in the description thank you for your patience